Out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality. You know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me. That really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Becky Pound, man. I appreciate the love. Boom, 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 boom. Woo, woo, woo. I appreciate the support. We out here, man. 33 years, 33 years of prison stories, man. Big love to everybody who support the movement. Big love to everybody who gave me love and shout outs on my birthday yesterday. I appreciate it, man. More than you know, uh, I do not take this stuff for granted, man. Um, I definitely appreciate the love, man. You know, in a world of hate, love is is, is the remedy, man. It's the remedy. So when you get love, man, you got to uh, you got to appreciate it, man, because it's <laughs> it ain't guaranteed. You dig? So I appreciate that, man. I appreciate everybody who's been rocking with the platform, man, from day one to day yesterday. I appreciate all of y'all, man. As I say all the time, this is a movement, not a moment. So we got a lot more work to do. We got a lot of things to accomplish, man, and we just getting in the grind right now, man. We ain't even hit our stride yet. We ain't even hit our stride. So keep on rocking with me, man. We're going to keep on pushing this positive energy, man. Big love to everybody in the morning mud, man. The morning mud has became a thing, man. It became a thing. Uh, I look forward to it. I get up looking forward to, uh, you know, seeing how y'all day going, man, and getting y'all in a good mood. You know, like I always say, if you ain't laughing, you ain't living, man. So we in there, we laughing, we enjoying ourselves. You know, we talking our talk, man. And, um, you know, little Scar Dugger and Lawson and Tom Footer every now and then don't hurt nobody, man. As long as it's at a minimum, you dig? Uh, so man, uh, I was thinking about, you know, this Twitch thing, man, and maybe putting the morning mud on the Twitch. I don't know. Y'all talk to me in the comments. Let me know. You know what I'm saying? We just trying to reach a broad audience, man, and bring some more people into this, uh, into this nation, man. So that's what we trying to do. But big shout out to everybody who come rock with me at Twitch at night too. TBP Twitch at night. If you ain't got Twitch, go get it and come over there. We we got a little bit more freedom over there, a little bit more lax in the rules. So we, we be having a little fun over there at nighttime too, man. So TBP Nation, man, we out here. We everywhere, man. We everywhere. Where y'all at? Y'all need to get with it. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell somebody about what we got going on and come over here and get with this good positive energy, man. Man, with that being said, man, uh, I wanted to talk to y'all today about something that I thought that I had talked to y'all about before, but maybe I didn't. But, man, let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something. Uh, out of all of the uh, fights and the, 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 the viciousness that I done seen in prison, man, when you remove that Bethlehem out of the equation, some of the fights that I've seen, a lot of them, man, a lot of them have been vicious and won by the deadly dope fiend. <laughs> Because even if you can't fight, that dope fiend might save you, man. That deadly dope fiend. If you don't know what the dope fiend is, let me educate you. The dope fiend is, I don't know why they start calling that, but the dope fiend is when you get somebody from behind around their neck and you lock it in like this and you squeeze. I don't care. How big you are, how strong you are, how, you know, athletic you are. If somebody gets you from behind in that dope fiend and they squeeze and hold on and you cannot get them up off you, you got a certain amount of time before you're going to lose uh, oxygen and you're going to collapse. And um, <laughs> in prison, that is a, a big mistake. Big mistake, because if you go unconscious, it ain't no telling what is going to happen to you. It's no telling what, what somebody going to do to you when you're unconscious. I done seen dudes get stomped out. I done seen dudes get kicked in the face, lose their teeth, Uh, you know, come right back to consciousness, man, and, and being brutally attacked because they done got caught in the dope fiend and got put to sleep. 
You understand me? So when dudes get to tussling and rustling and they getting on the ground and you ended up you end up getting behind them and you could get them in that dope fiend, man, you get them in that dope fiend, man, <laughs> hey, hey, you in trouble. <laughs> you in trouble. I done seen it all, man. Dudes try to grab your genitals. Dudes try to bite your arm. Anything to get out of that dope fiend, man. But I done seen some dudes that ain't really got no fight in them. Can't really stand up and, you know, ah, put them things together or nothing. But you grab them and they get to the tussling or something. And if they can get behind you and lock that dope fiend on you, oh, man, you going up out of here. <laughs> you going up out of here. If they hold on for dear life, you going up out of here, man. And um, I done seen it, man. I done seen it many, many hundreds, hundreds of times. Um, I can remember, man, um, I done saved a couple of dudes from the dope fiend, believe it. <laughs> believe it or not. And you, I might have saved a life because dope, that dope fiend will kill you. Dudes will kill you not knowing that they actually killing you. They trying to subdue you. They trying to stop you from doing whatever it is that y'all was doing. But... They'll kill you, man, because they'll choke you too long and they cut off the oxygen to your brain, man, and you'll die. You know what I'm saying? Some dudes who know what they're doing, when they see that your body go limp, they'll let you go. And maybe, you know, <laughs> it ain't, it ain't, I mean, it ain't no uh, uh, consolation prize, but then, they, you know, they might pound you, you know what I'm saying, back into consciousness. But when you come back into consciousness, man, like I say, you're getting brutally attacked. You know what I'm saying? And, and you're already discombobulated and you're already at a disadvantage. But some dudes will let you go when they know that because they know the consequences. If you keep choking a the person, they're going to they die. You know what I'm saying? But some of these youngers who don't know and they don't know what they're doing and they're so scared and they're so terrified, they'll kill you, man. Not trying to kill you. They will kill you by not knowing what they're doing. And I can remember I was on the basketball court where I was walking across the basketball court because I had just finished jogging. And... This is the side court, not the main court. This is the side court on Greensville. This is the side court. So the, this is where all the, you know, for more or less, this is where the squirrels be playing at. You know what I'm saying? The dudes that can't get on the main court. So they playing over here. So it's a bunch of young dudes that, you know, really can't play, really ain't that athletic, but they trying to, you know what I'm saying, get some wreck in. And you have some, a mix of these old heads out here that, you know, had game or thought they had game a gazillion years ago. So they over here trying to shine on the young dudes, right? So, I had put all this work in jogging, man, and put a couple of miles in. You know, back then, I was I was putting that work in. So, I'm coming back, man. I'm pouring down sweat, man. So, I'm just really, like, bringing my body temperature down, man, you know, and I'm walking paces and stuff, waiting for them to open the gate so I can get out. So, I'm standing over here, waiting for the gate to open, just walking back and forth, doing a couple of push-ups and whatnot, and they, this is where the side court at. They playing ball over here on the side court. And, man, they get the arguing, you know, it's always, you know what I'm saying, that, that foolery on them basketball courts, man. A lot of stuff come off of them courts, man. A lot of, a lot of violence come off of them courts. So, they arguing and arguing the old head, arguing with the young dude. And the young dude is getting more and more frustrated. I can see it. But he, he, he you know what I'm saying, he young. He young and goofy. But he big. You know what I'm saying? He young, he goofy, but he big. You know what I'm saying? So, he, he look like he's strong, too. But he can't really play no ball. Old head is cooking him. I mean, cooking him and running his mouth. And the young dude keep on talking stuff back to him. And then the next thing you know, you know, the words get a little bit more vicious, get a little bit more belligerent. You know, you get to, you know, calling people out their name, the B word, the this, that, and the third. And, you know, the old head like, man, you know, you watch your mouth, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, what you going to do? You know what I'm saying? And all of this and all of that. But the big young dude, he goofy his own or what. So he, he's... You know, talking that talk. You know, them young dudes, mouth vicious, man. That's all they know. B word this, N word that, B word this, you know what I'm saying? F you that, man, suck this. Oh, yeah, that's how they talk. So, man, he said a little bit too much. And the, and the old head stopped that game and walked up on him and said, say it again, say it again. And the young boy said it again. <laughs> man, old head took off on him. Bang, bang, bang. And he couldn't, the big dude could not fight because he goofy. He falling back, flaying, trying to swing all wild, and the young, and the old head piecing him up. But old head ain't really got no whole lot of gas in him. He got about a good, <laughs> he probably got about a good minute, minute and a half worth of gas in him. You know what I'm saying? If he can't get the job done in a minute and a half, he in trouble. 
You know what I'm saying? So, but he done pieced him up. I mean, he don't bust his lip and everything. So then he steady trying to charge at him. He coming at him, you know, like, yeah, hey, run your mouth, young, young, run your mouth. And dude's like, man, y'all go ahead, y'all go ahead. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just looking right now because it ain't nothing about business. You know what I'm saying? You got the man, you business in prison. So then he run up on the, 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 the young and try to hit him again. And the young and reached out and grabbed him. And they and pulled them to the ground. They hit the ground. Boom. So when they hit the ground, they tussling and scrambling there. Man, somehow, this youngin got behind him and put him in that dope fiend and was squeezed. And old head is laying down there and literally he fighting for his life. I can see his face. And he... Elbowing him and elbowing him, but youngin is not letting go. He just squeezing. He's squeezing. And the elbow is going from <laughs> trying to pull his hand from up off him. And young dude just you can see the young dude behind him. His face just locked in. He like and he just squeezing. And then dude feet is flaying and he kicking. And the next thing you know, <laughs> It looked like so much blood is in his face, man. And it just looked like he just went limp. And, and, and dude is just steady squeezing. He locked in and squeezing. And, and people hollering and trying to tell him, like, let him go, young and let him go. He he unconscious, young let him go. And I don't know if he blacked out, whether he was scared, whether he just ain't know, but he's just steady holding him. He's steady holding him. And dude's like, let him go, young let him go. So I go over there, I run over, I said, let him go, young, let him go. And I'm trying to pull his arm from up, but, and he's still is squeezing, dude. I said, man, let him go, man, you're going to kill him, dog. You're going to kill him, let him go. So he he just let him go, and then he scooted away and scooted away from him and stood up. Man, dude, old head was laying down there, man. I'm telling you, man, it looked like his ass was rolling in the back of his head, man. And he was just start shaking and he's shaking. And I know... Because I done seen dudes wake dudes up with a dope fiend before. You gotta, you gotta shock him in the wake. So I smack him across his chest. You know, I smack him again. Boom. He come up. <laughs> he choking and everything, man. And he don't, he don't even know where he at. He don't even know where he at, man. My man was this close to going up out of here. He was almost in the upper room. You know what I'm saying? Messing with youngin, you know. So he set up on his on his behind, and he and he's sitting right there on the concrete. We on the concrete. He's sitting on the concrete. He trying to get himself together. I'm like, you all right, you all right, yeah, you all right. And dude's like, man, boy, oh youngin, you almost killed him, man. You almost killed him. Youngin over there wiping blood all over his joint. And he looked like he he ready for whatever now. You know what I'm saying? Because he feel that accomplishment, like. You know, he done came back, he done, you know what I'm saying, he done prevailed, and, and now, you know, it's like, you know, poke your chest out, you know what I'm saying, because you in the penitentiary, people watching, you know what I'm saying, so he feel like now, like, he feeling this testosterone, old head is discombobulated, man, he 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 is still, you know, I don't know if it affected him, you know what I'm saying, in a type of way where it done really messed him up, but he's still groggy, he can't get himself together, I don't know whether it be because he won't breathe in for a certain amount of time or whatever, he couldn't even hardly stand up, man. He he couldn't even hardly man. Me, another dude, try to help get him up. We pull him over to the side. He's standing up over on the wall on the fence. And dude is looking at him and everybody looking, man. They like, man, he was almost dead. And you could just hear all the talk and all the talk. But man, if people start coming to open up the gate, man, he could barely walk up out of there, man. Dudes had to help him up out there. People was telling the CO, man, hey, man, you got to take him to medical, man. What's wrong with him? What's wrong with him? So yo, like, what's wrong with him? I said, man, he passed out, man. He just passed out. You know what I'm saying? You got to help take him to medical, man. So they help, help the dude, man. A couple of other dudes helped take him over to medical, man. But he came this close to lose, losing his life, messing with Youngin. And Youngin ain't even know what he was doing. He ain't have a clue. He ain't even know what he was doing. All he know, get him in the dope feet. And, and I'm telling you, man, it works. <laughs> it works. And I, it's not funny, but I'm telling you, it works, man. It will subdue the biggest, most strongest, vicious dude you know. If you wrap them arms around his neck. Because let me tell you something, man. I don't care who you is, man. If you can't breathe, you can't fight. You know what I'm saying? If you can't breathe, you can't fight. You know what I'm saying? And I done seen dudes try everything they could get out of it. I seen dudes get put in the dope fiend on the basketball court. You know what I'm saying? They fighting, they running their mouth. And then dude turn around and run their court. I seen dude run behind him and just jump on his neck. And dude done jumped up and fell backwards on the concrete and everything. Boom! Dude just wrap his legs around him like, like MMA and choke him out. 
choke them out, don't let go. That's the main thing. When you lock in, you cannot let go. And, man, them dudes just lock in and won't let go, man. And they go unconscious. The dude let them go and get from up on them and just bang, 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 wail up on them. And, and then go, leave, just take off. You know what I'm saying? By the time dudes is coming through, they bust it all up and don't know where they at. And it takes you a second, a couple of seconds when you come from up out of there to really even get your burns to know where you at. You don't even know where you be at. It's like... It's like coming up out of a sleep, you know what I'm saying? And you in a foreign place, you don't even know where you at, you know what I'm saying? And then just imagine coming up out of a sleep, just getting punched all in the face or kicked all in the face. This is how they wake up, you know what I'm saying? So, man, that dope fiend, man, that dope fiend ain't nothing to play with, man. I'm telling you, man, I know all y'all, especially you fellas out there, you probably know you because you just done tried it in playing. You know what I'm saying? People get to people get to watching that WWE and that wrestling and all that stuff, and they think that stuff is a game. And for the most part, it is entertainment. But in real life, yeah, that stuff is real, man. Somebody wrap them arms around your neck, man. You is you you in trouble, dog. Yeah, you in trouble. You know what I'm saying? If you if you let them get you, man. And it's a lot of dudes. It's that prison prison dope fiend, man. <laughs> that prison dope fiend is a tactic that is used all the time, man. You had dudes that be beefing with dudes, man, that they said stuff out their mouth to each other. And dude may feel like he can't whoop you. You know what I'm saying? He might take that verbal abuse you saying to him. Let him catch you sitting in that block. <laughs> Let him catch you sitting at that table playing cards, playing spades, sitting in there eating. Man, dude will walk by you just as slick and come right up behind you and lock up on you. And drag you straight up off of the bench and just squeeze and squeeze and try to see it. <laughs> I done seen it, man. That's why you see dudes in prison always got their head on the swivel, dog. Because dude may not got the uh the, the capacity to, to to stab you, man. It take a lot to stab a dude, man. It take a lot to push that Bethlehem in the dude, man. It ain't like you, you know, standing out on the corner of some or you beefing with somebody on the street and you shooting, you know what I'm saying, from 10 feet away, 5 feet away, whatever it is. You know you, you got that gun, you know what I'm saying, you know, you know your chances are greater. That Bethlehem, man, it take a lot to do that, man, because you got to get up close and personal, and you, you got to put it in him, and you got to worry about he, you know, no matter who he is, that pain, that shock of that something going, they going to fight. They going to fight back. You know what I'm saying? They going to fight back, and if they got the capacity to take it away from you, fair exchange ain't no robbery, man. He might take your life, and he might beat the case. You know what I'm saying? He going to go through what he got to go through with the prison stuff, but he might be the case. So a lot of them dudes don't want to bring the Bethlehem in the equation because of the simple fact that they scared it might get took away from them and used on them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of dudes ain't got the stomach to sit there and just, you know, just stab a, a person. A lot of dudes ain't got that stomach. So dudes will result to what they can to incapacitate you. They might take the, the, the hot pocket, they lock in the sock and come up behind you and cut you know what I'm saying? Might take him, grab a weight collar or something, come up behind you, catch you out on the weight pile, hit you in the back of the head with the weight. But if all else fails, if they ain't trying to take your life, but they just trying to punish you, man, them jokers will try to catch you from behind, man, and just snatch you up, put you in that dope fiend, squeeze you out, and then stomp you out, beat you down, beat your face in while you unconscious, beat you back to consciousness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it, it happens, man. It happens. I done seen dudes out there on that yard, especially when we got that night wreck. Dudes has been beefing, been running their mouth, or they got a disagreement, or somebody owe him some money, or he done bucked on this on the poker game or something, and they catch you out there at nighttime, man, walk straight up behind dudes, man, and snatch their collar, grab them close to him, choke them out, take them straight to the ground, and then start stomping, kicking them, and then peel out. <laughs> Peel out like it ain't nothing happened. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, peel, man, they got they doing man, they doing drive drive by dope fiends up in that joint at nighttime out there on that yard. Dude, that's why dudes were scared to go outside on the night wreck. Part of it. That was part of it. You know what I'm saying? That was part of it. You got dudes that play poker like this, man, sideways, so they can see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You got dudes that play spades like this sideways. You got dudes that play spades and poker. In the block and outside standing up, Captain Morgan with their feet on the bench. Playing like that, they won't sit down. Because dudes come up behind you, man. You know what I'm saying? In prison, man, the sneak attack is a regular attack. 
<laughs> it ain't no such thing as sneak attack. Sneak attack is a regular attack, man. You got to be ready. If you get caught slipping, that's on you. Ain't nobody say, oh, yeah, he snuck up behind him. Man, they don't care. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not going to be part of the story. The part of the story is that he got choked out, he got stomped out. Yeah, knocked his teeth out there. He got buck niggas and all. Yeah, that's going to be the story. It's not going to be he snuck up behind you. They don't care nothing about that, man. It's the penitentiary. You got to get it how you live, man. And we living in hard times, man. And it, 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 a victory is a victory. A win is a win. You know what I'm saying? For you not to get hurt is the main objective. And if you ain't going to get hurt by coming up behind somebody and getting the ups on them, that's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what it is, man. But, man, that dope fiend is something terrible, man. I'm telling you, all you got to have is strength. You ain't got to know how to fight. You got strength, and you can hold that lock on, and you can withstand them elbows and eye gouges and biting at the arm until uh, I'm, I'm, I'm guesstimating, man. I'm telling you about a good, man, anywhere from a good, man, a good 25 to 40 seconds, you out of there. <laughs> You is out of there, man. I'm telling you, if the squeeze is tight enough and he got that locked in grip, you going to sleep, man. You going to sleep. Now, how you going to wake up? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe feet to the face. Maybe, you know, whatever. I don't know how you going to wake up. You know what I'm saying? But you going to sleep if you get caught slipping, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's why when dudes walk behind me or dudes walk behind other dudes in penitentiary, you'll see a dude like this. He's sitting there just casual. And people walk behind dudes and be like, you know what I'm saying? You got to see him go on both sides. You got to, you got to see him go this way and come out on that side. Yeah, you even know what's going on. I do it out here to this day. Yeah, it's a part of your, you know what I'm saying, your, your, your survival in there. That's a part of your survival tactics, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, I done seen them, man. I seen dudes get snatched from the poker table outside. I seen dudes get snatched from the poker table on the inside. I seen dudes get snatched from the card table. You know what I'm saying? I done seen dudes get snatched up on the phone talking to their people. Yeah, man. I'm, what? what click, 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 oh, hey. You know what I'm saying? People calling up there say, hey, 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 my brother was on the phone and did that. You know what I'm saying? I heard a bunch of noise. What's going on? What's your brother's name? Uh, uh, John Smith. Well, yeah, yeah, well, you, you had to call back up here in the morning. Well, man, yeah. Snatch him straight off the phone. Come right up behind him. Hey, what you said? Man, I told you, man. I, yeah. <laughs> the, the prison dope fiend is in full effect in the penitentiary, man. In full effect. I know two dudes, they sell it. They run in their mouth in the block. They go in the cell. They don't need to close the door. They come in the cell. We ain't got to do this out. We come in the cell. Go straight in the cell. Oh, you hear it. Boom. 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 I, I, you know what I'm saying? And, and you in penitentiary, you don't post to get up and go look in the cell because you drawing heat. So dudes can hear it, but they wondering what's going on. But you can tell people want to get up and go look and see what's going, but don't nobody go look. It ain't take nothing about a good three, two to three minutes. Next thing you know, dragging them out the cell, just like this in the dope thing. Right in the park. Choke them out. Slam them down to the junk. Kick them all in the face. It's silly. Kick them all in the face and everything. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and walk on off. You know what I'm saying? But that then the people in the booth and seeing what's going on, they the call today, they came in there, they the got. But this is selling. Choked them straight out and dragged them out in the pod. Dragged them out in the pod, man. In the dope fiend. <laughs> in the dope fiend, man. Yeah. I'm telling you, man, that dope fiend is vicious, man. It's vicious. And if you're a small person, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> man, <laughs> man. I'm trying to tell you, man, you better you better eat your weeders, man, if you're going to pay attention, man. <laughs> you better eat your weeders, man. You better do your push-ups, your pull-ups. You better eat, because you're going to have to have some strength to, to, to try to get somebody up off you, man, if they latch a hold to you. That's real talk, man. You know what I'm saying? It ain't about all these big bulk. You're going to have to have some type of physical strength, man, because you, you, you may get in a physical altercation that's going to cause you to be tussling and wrestling with the dudes. And you got these dudes, like I say, out here now, these youngers out here now, man, they don't even know what working out is. <laughs> if they not into uh, athletics and sports or trying to play football, basketball, baseball, whatever it is throughout high school and junior high, then they into video games. That's all they into, you know what I'm saying? But you out here breaking the law. You out here being, thing, you know, being a halfway thug. You out here, you know, cripping and blood and, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and robbing and stealing and shooting. That penitentiary waiting for you, man. And them dudes in there is fit and ferocious and they ready. 
<laughs> and they ready and they battle tested and they 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 ready, man. You know what I'm saying? For you to be coming up in there, man, and you you, you can't take the guns with you. You can't take them with you, man. You ain't gonna get past the gate. <laughs> you understand me? So, yeah, it's a vicious game, man. It's a vicious game in there, man. You can't get caught slipping, man. You cannot, man. Because that dope fiend is, is, is that's without the Bethlehem. It's so many, you know, uh, 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 avenues to danger in there, man. The Bethlehem is just the apex. That's just the apex of what can happen to you. There. If they, that's the big boy. You know what I'm saying? That's the big uh, 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 cut it out. That's the big shut them down. That's the big uh, send you away from here. You know, that's when somebody just, they just, I guess they did test you living. You know what I'm saying? They don't want your existence to be on this planet no more. When they grabbing that Bethlehem, they trying to, you know, they trying to really, you know, send you somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? But other dudes just, they might just want to punish you, man. They might just want to hurt you. They might just feel like you disrespected them to the point where they want to see you, you know, in some pain. They want to see you suffer. You know what I'm saying? And one of the one of the tools to that is to catch you slipping and put you in that dope fiend. And he put you in that prison dope fiend, man. You better try to find a way out. You better say, you better try to find a way out, man. I I I, I got a way out of it. <laughs> I'm telling you, I got a way out of it. You know what I'm saying? It's a way to get up out of it, but it got to be quick. It got to be emphatic, and it got to be done immediately when you when you feel it coming around your neck. It's a way to get up out of it. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't do it right and you don't do it fast, you cook. That's me included. You cook. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all this story before. And he probably see this. He probably laugh, probably, you know, try to make a joke out of it. But yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. My old seller, Vic. Shout out to my little brother, Vic. You know, I told you, I used to beat his body up in there. We used to have the gloves in the side. I used to beat his body up, man. And um, Vic a big, was a big dude then. He was real bigger then. He probably was in his twos and something. I used to beat his body up, man. You know what I'm saying? And he used to get mad. You know what I'm saying? Real mad, you know what I'm saying? But you know, we, we young, so you know, I I just keep doing it anyway till he get even more frustrated and curl up and I'm like, nah, shut up, shut up, shut up. And man, I was messing with him one day and I turned around and we playing now, we sell it. We, you know, it's my little bro, man. He snatched me up in the dope fiend. <laughs> he snatched me up in the dope fiend now. He, he, he playing. And he even laughed. He said, yeah, look, I could catch you. I could catch you. But he's squeezing me hard because I started to tussle. And he's squeezing me hard. And I told y'all this in one of, them other, uh, one of them videos. And then next thing you know, you know what I'm saying, it's commissary day two. We got commissary day. And then next thing you know, I'm sitting right there. And I'm looking at the commissary and stuff. He was like, oh. He was like, you all right? You all right? I said. I told you be discombobulated. I said, man, did you choke me up? And I got up. <laughs> Nah, I was beating his body. He was like, go ahead, man. I'm like, man, you better not never try that again. Because it happens just like that. It happens just like that. I'm telling you, man. It, 25 to, 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 I'm saying 25 to 40 seconds. It may be shorter than that. I'm telling you, depending upon how strong the joke is, they got his arms wrapped around your neck, depending upon how hard he's squeezing. It, it do not take long, man. It will incapacitate you, man. And that's one thing you do not want to be in the penitentiary. It's unconscious. And having somebody down on you, trying to cause you bodily harm, trying to hurt you. You do not want to be unconscious, man, because you put yourself at the mercy of another dude who, guess what? What do I tell you? Might not have mercy. He might not have mercy, man. So you can't never put yourself in that position, man. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, it's 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 super real, man. It's super real in there, and that dope fiend is definitely super real, dog. You can't get caught like that, man, man. And I'm tell you, man. Even out here, you see kids playing with that, man. And I'm I'm quite sure kids that got hurt out here with that. Some of them might have, you know, even lost their life playing with it. It's nothing to play with, man. When you choking somebody and take and cutting their oxygen off. You know what I'm saying? You cutting their oxygen off and you stopping them to be able to breathe. That's that's stopping the oxygen from going to your brain. People die like that. People go into comas like that. You know what I'm saying? But like I say, it's a, it's a, it's a tool of a uh, it's a tool in the prison, man. It, it, it's definitely uh it's definitely being used in the prison at all times. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man. But that's just one thing you got to be. You know, worried about when you're in prison, man. One amongst many, many, many other things that you got to be worried about in prison, man. It's the deadly prison dope fiend, man. You, you get caught in that, brother. 
yeah, 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 yo, 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 man. But you know, anyway, you know, and I know a homeboy, man. I actually got a homeboy. He ain't my homeboy, but he's somebody that I that I met when I was in there. That I have people on the street that know his people on the street, and he's actually locked up for that. He's actually locked up for that, man. He got to arguing with his 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 girlfriend, man, and um. And she was swinging all on him and throwing, you know, how the, the woman is just attacking you and you try to act like you don't want to hit him. So he just grabbed and spent around and put her in the dope fiend on the street. You know what I'm saying? And he put her in the dope fiend, he was squeezing and she's swinging back and trying to scratch all in his face. And him not realizing his strength. And he steady squeezing her and he squeezed her until she stopped and went limp. She lost her life. She lost her life, man. And that's what he in the penitentiary for. That's what he's in the penitentiary for. So, you know what I'm saying? When dudes be saying about the dope, oh, he gonna put you in the dope. I done been around him hearing people saying that, talking about something else, dudes playing or whatever. And I always see the look on his face of, you know what I'm saying, of tension, you know what I'm saying? Because that's his real life situation. You understand me? So just keep that in mind, man. It ain't nothing to play with grabbing somebody around that neck. Understand if you do do that, you're putting yourself at risk, man, um, to, you know, do something that you might not even be trying to do. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. Talk to me. I talk back. I look forward to reading y'all comments, man. Spread the word. Spread this message. Spread this movement, man. We a nation, man. We got to build it up, man. We got to get this message out there, man. We got to reach them and teach them, man, to try to save them. In the meantime, in between time, man, y'all be safe, be smart, make good decisions. I see y'all in the morning. Muddle, I see y'all on Twitch. I was sad y'all want to mess with me, man. One way or another, you going to see me because we out here. Really the bank is special. Yeah, pure delicious. Pure delicious. My name is uh, Banky, man. Everybody calls me Banky. That's the name that I got from my grandmother when I was young. I'm coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.